14th of the 6th, 2011. This is today's climate change update. Uh, I have some updates for that volcano in Ethiopia. It's definitely a volcano erupting. Uh, the volcano... Da -da -da. This is off the RSOE. A number of flights in eastern Africa are facing disruption after a volcano erupted in southern Red Sea region of Erythria. On early Monday morning, officials said, it is the first eruption in recent history. The eruption at the Nabro volcano began around midnight local time on Monday, uh, 2100 GMT Sunday, according to the Volcanic Ash Advisory Center, VAAC, in uh, Toulouse. It sent a large plume of ash up to 13 kilometers into the air, 8 miles. Uh, there were no immediate reports of casualties as a result of the eruption. Uh, according to the country's Minister of Information, it said the explosive eruption could be heard throughout the region. A statement from a ministry, local residents have been evacuated. Uh, their forecasting said the ash cloud is moving towards the west and high concentrations of ash were spread over parts of uh, Eritrea, Ethiopia, Somalia, uh, Djibouti and Sudan by Monday evening. Low density concentrations of volcanic ash were also detected over a small part of Egypt. Um, they also said they briefed a number of airliners and other agencies about the ash cloud, which is expected to impact air traffic in the region. I have conversations with the chief operations in Dubai, uh, Air France, KLM. They also want information, and I say perhaps it will be dangerous for your planes, uh, forecaster said. Uh, they went on to continue that um, if this ash cloud moves up into the Israeli Egypt area, that uh, some, a lot of flights will be uh, severely disrupted. Um, Secretary of State um, Hillary Clinton had to cut her trip to Ethiopia short uh, due to this volcanic eruption. Um, she was afraid her plane couldn't get out, so she got out of Ethiopia uh, shortly after this took place. <clears throat> and the extinction protocol um, reports June 13th, Ethiopia, uh, the Nabro volcano in the North Red Sea region uh, has erupted, blah, blah, blah. And um, again, they called it last night with the satellite images, but pretty much saying, yes, we have a volcano. Um, more earthquakes in the Christchurch uh, at another 4.6, 6.0, 5.5. Uh, ongoing situation there. And uh, June 13th out of Iceland, it began in earnest about a year ago with an inordinate number of volcanic eruptions reported in the year 2010. In 2011, mud volcanoes also began erupting in, in Azerbaijan and Vietnam. Unexplained incidents of lithospheric fracturing and fissures were also being reported across the globe. Uh, in the United States, Canada, Peru, Bolivia, Brazil, Pakistan, and Spain, many of these incidents mysteriously occurred with no se seismic precursors. Tectonic plate agitations were increasing across the globe through few were taking notice of the dynamic geological changes sweeping across the face of the planet. Wow. Uh, Iceland, Chile, Africa, Earth changes have become a uniform planetary geological phenomenon. Um, I was watching some Cliff High reports, and he's talking about the expanding Earth theory. Uh, Carney Art, he's got another crack in his backyard. Uh, it seems to be expanding. I'll attach links below if you don't follow Carney Art. Um, he has a fissure. Um, this will be the second one up in um, Michigan, right? You're in Michigan? Uh, 6.4 earthquake rattles seafloor under Maluka Sea. Uh, it's an active area in the South Pacific. Let me get these computer running. Mysterious new outbreak leaves doctors in India puzzled. Kolkata, India, the city's in the grip of viral fever that has affected thousands, including many in um, <clears throat> the central part of the district. It has been leading to high fever accompanied by severe lung and chest infection often causing severe respiratory problems. Experts have been taken by surprise by the late outbreak of this viral epidemic, which usually occurs during the change of seasons. 
<clears throat> the new virus is far more poignant and different from the ones that have struck previous years, said doctors. And, uh, hey, just in time, Bill Gates gave a billion dollars for vaccines. Um, <clears throat> just another of ongoing um, strange bugs flying around as of late. And as soon as my computer racks up, here we go. Missouri residents under the threat of more flooding from stressed levees on the Missouri River. Um, Hamburg, Iowa, they caught a levee rupturing on video. Um, I will attach it below, of course. The rising Missouri River ruptured two levees northwest Missouri on Monday, sending torrents of floodwaters into rural farmland towards a small town in Iowa and a resort community in Missouri. Water rushing from a 50-foot wide hole in a levee near Hamburg in the far southwest Missouri is threatening more people. Floodwaters are expected by Tuesday to reach a secondary levee protecting the partially evacuated town of about 1,100 people. But if that levee fails, parts of Hamburg could be under as much as 10 feet of standing water, officials says. And uh, again, here's flooding in the Midwest of the United States. Um, they're not talking about... <clears throat> The nuclear plants up on the Missouri River here, and also they have cooling pools for the nu spent nuclear fuel along the Missouri River on the um, Nebraska side, I believe, which is just west of me. Basically, I'm downwind from it. Um, so they're having flooding problems, and they're dealing with that, of course, and um, <clears throat> not really getting any reports out of that. It's just, uh, here's more water heading down the Mississippi River Basin. Um, we got more storms here today. I can I contest we had uh, quite a severe thunderstorm here in Des Moines. Uh, I didn't catch it on video because uh, I figure you guys are getting a bit bored with all my uh, storm videos. Every time it storms, I try to time lapse it. Uh, but anyway, um, they've got a story on the economy. Will the birthplace of Western civilization also be its demise? Greece moves closer to default. And uh, I believe the Irish are talking about defaulting as well. <clears throat> so there's all kinds of things going on with the economy, and, it's, and again, it's not really my cup of tea. West Palm Beach, Florida, water crisis worsens. They only have 22 days left before the city runs out of water. Well, the mayor of West Palm Beach is ordering increased enforcement of water restrictions. As a result, employees in the police, public utilities, and parks departments will be trained to issue warnings and citations. Every Friday, department directors will need to update the number of warnings and citations issued during the week. On Tuesday, the unbeknown to the mayor or commissioners, city officials warned the South Florida Water Management District that it only had 22 days of water left. Conditions are such that a significant threat exists to the public health, safety, and welfare, the health of animals, fish, or aquatic life, public water supply, and commercial agriculture and other reasonable uses. Uh, the report stated in requesting permission of the city to tighten its water restrictions a day after the city warned that it only had 22 days of water remaining. The West Palm Beach approved an order on residents allowing just one day a week of watering their lawns. Insane. <clears throat> Story goes on. I'm not going to bore you with it. Uh, over to EarthChangesScott.net, Midwesterners brace for new Missouri River flooding. Of course, this is historic again, um, and this will not just go away overnight. This is going to be ongoing for uh, weeks and weeks. And parts of Bulgaria under severe weather warning. The National Institute for Meteorology and Hydrology at Bulgarian Academy of Sciences declared code orange for dangerous weather for the North Sea through Bulgaria for the afternoon. Code orange means intense weather situations with potential damage, injuries, and casualties. Uh, they're saying the rest of the country is under code yellow, which also means potentially dangerous weather. Uh, again, we've been getting reports of drought in Europe, flooding in Europe. Um, just the situation continues. I'm believing this is part of the, the rain and the flooding happening uh, in Europe. <sighs> again, str strong quakes again rock shaken New Zealand city. Uh, Wellington, New Zealand, a series of aftershocks rattled New Zealand's quake devastated city of Christchurch again on Monday, toppling one of the 
few buildings still standing downtown and sinking thousands of homes into darkness. And again, <clears throat> they're on a very unstable platform there with two, I believe, um, volcanoes right there. And a lot of volcanic activity going on right now. Get this thing moving. Thank you. And finally on the RSOE. Uh, of course, the forest fires in Arizona, record breaking. Uh, I was watching on the Weather Channel today. They were having a, a news conference. Uh, some of the officials in Arizona, and they're saying the fires are spreading. They're spreading in New Mexico and Colorado, and um, this is just worsening and worsening. And of course, there's no really relief in sight um, for them. Flash flood reporting in Cyprus. <clears throat> Flooding in uh, Saskatchewan, Canada. Uh, looks like Lake Diefenbaker. Forest fires in the state of Florida, areas of the Everglades. Uh, that's down in the Miami, southern Florida area. Again, um, they're having drought situations, fires. Um, yeah. We got fires in Canada, again in Saskatchewan, uh, the Hall Lake region is reporting wildfires, uh, state of Colorado near Westcliff is reporting um, <clears throat> forest fires, hailstorm in Pakistan, uh, again they have a tropical storm just hanging right off the coast of Pakistan right now, and uh, the weather that, that that's producing, extreme weather for the Pakistan area right there, uh, landslides in China. In the Tibet Autonomous Region, <clears throat> and again that has to do with weather. Uh, what else, what else? Of course the volcano eruption in Af uh, uh, Africa, flash flood in Norway, and that is about it for the new stuff today. Of course we have ongoing things, you got fires in Russia, and, and weather, and flooding in China, and... Uh, Nobody's talking about Fukushima. Uh, if I find any videos, I will attach that below, of course. And here we go, another 13-minute video. So enjoy what you can, everybody, and attach your whatever. I'll see you guys later.